Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome back to a brand episode of I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I thought we'd start off today's episode by opening my Any Tots pack that came out last night, because I didn't do it last night. Um, so I thought we'd open it for the episode, really. It has no ties to I Rate Your Teams at all, but I thought, why not? We'd open it and see what we get. So we are going to get ourselves a Brazilian striker. Vinicius, I think. Um, that's all right, I guess. It's 90 rated. He'll probably go back into an SPC, probably. But I'll take it for an 82 rated squad. It's not bad. Let's get into some teams. So we start off with Jack's team. He says, restart my club two weeks ago, and this is my team. I'm getting Cruz and Alonso after rival rewards. 100,000 coins for improvement. Keep it the good work. Love the streams. Hey, I appreciate that, dude. Uh, hey, for starting two weeks ago, that's not a bad team. Uh, I feel like... Obviously, you're uh, you're just in the grind. You, you've gone for the rival players and things like that. It's, it's not a bad team at all, though, from starting two weeks ago. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which of the Summer Heat players are still grindable as of right now. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if Pogba's still grindable uh, or any of those. But if Pogba's still grindable, I'd say get Pogba in the team uh, if you can. Uh, or try and, try and complete Pogba, should I say. If Sissoko's still available, try and get Sissoko. Um, if not, obviously, then you're in a bit of a dilemma, but I can see where you're in the dilemma. Now, also, you can maybe go for, um, is it Cyprian that got a, uh, that got a special card? I can't remember if it was Cyprian that got a League SBC card, but Cyprian and mid might be decent for you as well if you grind towards that. The League SBCs especially are pretty easy to grind right now. I uh, don't know exactly how much Footbin has them as, uh, but we can have a quick look for... Uh, league SBCs. Um, okay, I, I thought you'd be able to just filter it. Um, so yeah, two hundred k apparently for for the league SBC now. However, I think you can do this a lot cheaper because I think a lot of people are just going to be listing up cards a lot cheaper these days. Um, so I would say try and get this done and uh, see where it goes. To be honest, apologies. The microphone was a little bit quiet as well in the earlier stage of this video. I didn't realize how it turned down. Uh, anyway, the uh, next one coming from Shea. I've got 150k coins. Everyone is untradeable except for Martial. Uh, let's check it out. All right. First things first, what I would say, uh, if you've got 150k after getting this entire team, uh, what I would do is I would go and get yourself the... the. It's not a new Martial. There he is. He's actually already on there. Uh, it's not necessarily new. However, um, it's upgraded. So I would say go and get yourself the 90 Martial. Sell your Martial for 34k. It gets you to 184k. Um, or after tax, like 180k, then get yourself the uh, 90 Martial because providing Manchester United pr uh, progress quite far through Europa League, he's going to constantly get upgrades and could become, I think, like a 95 rated card, which would be insane at that striker spot, even better than the 92 rated. Um, and whilst he'll only be on 7 chem, it won't make much of a difference because I think this card is actually insane. Uh, he's got some really, really nice stats. So that's what I would recommend for your team. Uh, apart from that, the team is uh, well built. Uh, next one coming from Alex. I love your at. That is a very good at. He says, I have around 1 million coins and a decent amount of fodder. As you can see, I play a 4-2-1-2 two two in game. Uh, can I have a rating and some help? Yes, I got you, bro. Um, this team is genuinely perfect, lad. You don't need any help with this. I'm not even... If you if you feel like you're at a crossroads right now and you don't know what to do with your team, it's because you've pretty much completed the game. And, you know, the only players that you can get now to improve your team are huge icons, which... I mean, is there any point in getting huge icons? Maybe complete a few icon SBCs and see how you get along. Um, but yeah, this team is pretty much perfect. I'd also say maybe play Semedo, like just start Semedo right back and start Ramos at centre-back if that's what you play in game. Because, I mean, chemistry doesn't change at all with that. So, you know, there's no reason to, to start it differently, I guess. Um, but yeah, this team is genuinely perfect. If I was to give you a rating out of 10, this is a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only... Point one that I'm deducting here is the 93 Ramos as opposed to the 96. Apart from that, everything else is literally perfect. It's an insane team. Um, we've got our host's team next, who is always in the Twitch stream. I appreciate you, dude. Uh, he says, uh, hey, Haber, I uh, hope you're well. The first pick is my current team, all in trade with 180k for upgrades. And the second pick is, uh, was it the last time you checked out my team for Ultimate Tots? And you rated it 9 out of 10. Would you rate my current team? Also, keep it the grind. Let's do it. So the first pick is my current team. Um, this is what your team was before, and this is what your team is now. It's not bad, is it? Um, yeah, this is a big improvement. The only thing I don't like in your team, honestly, is Benzema. I am not a fan of Benzema this year. Uh, I had the 97 Tots and tradable, and he was just too clunky for me. He was too, um, I don't know. He just wasn't great. He wasn't great for me. 
So I would say if you could, can eventually replace Benzema, I don't know who you'd replace him with. Maybe you change the team up slightly and go with Valverde and then change somebody up top, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, apart from that, this team is incredible. Uh, I'm going to have to give it a solid 9.8 out of 10. I'm giving you a deduction of 0.2 points for the Benzema. Uh, we've got Mr. Celestial's team next. He says, Mbappe and Alisson Maximin are tradable, and I will say for anything, I have 180, uh, sorry, 150k. Um, fair enough. This is, a, this, is, this is, again, another end game completed squad. There's not even a player in this team that I would say to change. Everything is literally perfect in this team. This is a 10 out of 10. Genuinely a 10 out of 10. There is, like, nothing I would change in this team. And you've got the postman, the postman, as your uh, as your team name. Like this is a legitimate ten out of ten. I can't I can't take to change anything. This team is insane, and it makes me happy seeing you guys having literally insane teams. But I am so excited for the start of FIFA 21 because I love iRated teams at the start of FIFA 21. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. Uh, iRated teams at the start of FIFA 21. Uh, and I hope you guys are excited for that too. We're going to be doing two episodes a week again at the start of FIFA 21. It's going to be Wednesday and Sunday, uh, which I'm really excited uh, for that because at the start of FIFA 21, um, basically people's teams are all totally different at the start of FIFA. And it's just a lot of fun to kind of give advice on certain things and whatnot. Uh, but we have got a uh, Cage's team. Um, this is what his team's looking like. I would say out of 10, I'd rate this team uh, probably... I'd have to give it a, a 9 out of 10 and not a full 10 because you've got three players off chemistry, um, which I am not a big, I'm not the biggest fan of that, um, truthfully. I'm not entirely sure how you'd get them on chemistry either. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of playing a bunch of players off chem, but everything else is, is fantastic. It's a very, very nice team uh, and I like it a lot. Uh, I like, obviously, so Maximin is, is meta, Pogba's insane, Firmino's insane. Dembele's insane, Ribery's insane. Like all your players are insane. It's just playing players off chem. It's just, it's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. That's simply it. It's just a pet peeve of mine. Uh, we've got Trent's team next. I wonder if this is Trent Alexander Arnold. Probably not. Um, he says, uh, "Can you rate my team? Everyone's untradeable. Let's check it out." Well, he's got Trent Alexander Arnold on the team. It could be. It could be Trent. It really could. Uh, <laughs> this is what his team is looking like. Uh, this is a great team. Uh, I would say I've got to deduct points for Mandanda in goal because he's just not great. Sadly, he's not a very good, not a very good goalie in this game. Um, that being said, you know, all goalies are different for everyone. So he might be playing really well for you. I like your strike force, though. I would say for this team, I'm going to get a solid uh, 9 out of 10. I would say I'm deducting points for off-chem left-back and right-back. Uh, and I'm also deducting points for Mandanda and goal. But apart from that, everything else is great. Uh, it's a really good team. And you got a solid bench as well, which I like. Um, we have got next up uh, Kai's team. I uh, hope you're doing well. This is my team. I play a 4-2-3-1 in game with Ndombele and Pogba at CDM. Uh, Sanchez on uh, on for Benzema at Cam. Uh, Alisson, Maximin at Ram and Griezmann at Lamb. Any improvement, bro? Well, I'd love to, but sadly, it's really difficult. What I would say next time, right? So you take the screenshot with your phone straight like this. Turn your phone and then take the screenshot when it's like this. And then it's HD for me as well. Because it's just, it's so difficult to see. Because I, I, I basically, the reason why it's difficult to see, I've never really explained this. I'm looking on a 27-inch monitor and about what? maybe a foot away from my monitor, maybe. maybe. Yeah, probably about a foot away from my monitor. So when everything's on a 27-inch monitor, it's always enlarged. And if it's HD, it makes no difference because it enlarged, it looks great. But when it's not like this, uh, when it when it's like this, sorry, it looks even smaller on a big monitor than it does on a phone. Like you can probably see it better on a phone than you can on a big monitor because they try to stretch the pixels, which makes things blurry and difficult to see. Um, it's really annoying. Um, it's not your fault, obviously. Like you, you, you've done your best. It's just it, it's just how it all comes out in the end. Um, but yeah, I'd say next time, just send in a uh, a picture where you've turned your phone, and uh, it'll look a lot better. It'll be easy to rate as well, mate. Uh, we've got Harris's team next. Uh, this is what we're looking at here. Oh, okay, ninety six Messi red. I respect it. I respect it. Forty three on start in game. He's playing a forty four on as well. Um, I would say with this, play Messi central cam and Fekir Ram. Um, because then you're probably going to bring on Mane for Fekir there, and uh, when when Fekir gets tired, Messi is way more of a central cam than a Ram. And I say that I know obviously it's great to cut in on his right foot, but he is so good getting involved in the play. I would say play him centrally. Everything else is fantastic in this team. Rating out of ten, I'm going to give it a solid nine point five out of ten. Uh, I'm going to have to give you knockdown ratings for three players off Kem yet again. Uh, because I'm, yeah, I'm being that extra. Okay, I, I'm being that extra today. <laughs> We've got Leighton's team. Uh, let's check it out. My whole team is untradeable, apart from the two center backs of the goalie and the striker. I have about 50k for improvements. All right, let's check it out. So I would say 
well, I like it because obviously you've got you've got Edema Letao who just received quite a big upgrade. Um, I think. So what's your Edema Letao looking like now? It's 89 rated now. So it's even better. Uh, and you probably made a bit of coins on him as well because he was uh, a lot cheaper and he's risen up quite a lot. He was down to 30k and he's up to 175k. You could have made a lot of coins if you're better than those. But I mean, and you've got, wait, you've got one, two, three UCL live items that have all had big upgrades. Kante's now a 94 and Dembele's now a 90, I think. So you've had some really nice upgrades there. So I think your team is already better because uh, it's probably quite an old screenshot. Uh, this is a decent team though. Out of 10, I'm going to have to give you a, probably an 8 out of 10. I'll give you an 8.5 out of 10. You've got one, two, three, three players off chemistry, four players off chemistry with, with Alwar as well, uh, which obviously is making my off chem meter go through the roof. Um, and you're still using normal Mbappe and, and only 93 Neymar. It's for this stage in the game, a little bit behind the power curve, but you still do quite well. If you're a good thief player, then you won't really, it won't make a difference to you at all. Uh, what I would say is just save up and try to get yourself better versions of Mbappe, Neymar, and Varane. Uh, to be honest, like I don't even think it's that much to get better versions of these cards anymore. Uh, what's the 92 striker Mbappe looking like? Oh, he's still a million coins, never mind. Uh, the 90s, 180k, um, if that makes a difference to you. Uh, and then the 91, 740, 90s, 410, normal 70k these days. Yeah, I would just say try and save up and try and get yourself better versions of those. But apart from that, I mean, the team is really, really cool. Uh, then we have got Jose Jr.'s team to end off this episode, who says, Hi, Haber. Uh, I've got 250,000 coins and the only tradable is Sid Maximin. I play a 40 for one in game. I've been loving the clubs with net recently. Stay safe. Hey, that's really cool, man. Yeah, the clubs have been a lot of fun to play. I've really enjoyed playing pro clubs. Go check out Net's second channel if you guys haven't seen. He's been posting videos of when we've all been playing clubs together. It is a lot of fun. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, anyway, this is... Uh, this right here is his team. This is a nice team. This is a nice squad uh, indeed. Playing Alexandra as a centre-back, that's very interesting. Um, I would say all you need to do realistically is try and upgrade certain players to better versions of themselves. But apart from that, it's a, it's a decent team. Uh, out of 10, I'm going to have to give you a 9.4 out of 10. Uh, and that is playing players of chemistry. And also, I think Baby Zambrot is a little bit obsolete at this stage in the game. Uh, I think you can do better. And to be honest, same with Roberto Carlos. I think you can get better left-back and right-back. Um at this stage in the game. Apart from that, everything else is really, really good. Uh, but that is it for this episode. episode. I can't even speak right now. That is it for this episode. Uh, I just want to quickly touch upon one thing as well. I know my opinion will differ massively from the other people's opinions. Um, when I give my opinion, I mainly try and just think of like meta things and also my personal thoughts on FIFA and how I personally think of the game. I do apologize if that opinion is just different from yours. Uh, I do apologize if that opinion offends you in any way. I know sometimes people's opinions differing can cause, you know, anguish. And I do apologize for that. Uh, that is just how the cookie crumbles. Uh, if it really doesn't offend you, I would recommend just watching a different person's episodes. Um, I know that sometimes the, the comments and things can get a bit toxic on these episodes. Um, and I try my best to try and remove the toxicity, but people will be people at the end of the day. And lockdown has caused a lot of people to just be a lot angrier than they usually would be, which I totally understand and I don't blame you for. Uh, but I just want to say uh, thank you all for the epic support on these episodes regardless. Those of you that watch these every single week, those of you that have been watching them for the last year and a bit, I really appreciate it. We've been doing this this series now for about a year and a half now and it's been mental. The support has, the growth has, it's it crazy. So I'm massively grateful for that. Thank you all for your support as well. And thank you all for, for showing the love on the episodes. I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you later.